Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about few security principles. These principles might sound complicated, but they're actually pretty straightforward. The need to know principle is all about limiting access to information. The least privileged principle goes hand in hand with need to know. In the next few minutes, we'll break down need to know principles, explore how they work in practice, and discuss why they're so vital in today's digital landscape. All right, let's dive into the first principle. Need to know. Imagine you have a top secret recipe for the world's best chocolate chip cookies. Would you share it with everyone or just a select few? That's the basic idea behind need to know. It's about protecting sensitive information by limiting access to only those who absolutely need it to do their job. In the digital world, this sensitive information could be anything from customer data to financial records to confidential business plans. By restricting access to this information, we reduce the risk of it falling into the wrong hands. The fewer people who have access, the smaller the attack surface becomes. A marketing assistant, for example, doesn't need to see employee salary data. So how do we actually put need to know into practice? It starts with understanding what information is sensitive. Organizations often categorize data based on its sensitivity. Once the data is classified, then comes the implementation of access controls. This could involve using passwords, multi-factor authentication, or even biometric verification to ensure that only authorized individuals can access the information.